quickly go through this. I have a lot on the agenda this morning, but if you look in your packages at page five, page seven, page nine, and page 11. The first one on page five is the revenue expense summary. This is through the period of 1231-2012, and our fiscal year at this point in time was 50% complete. I just want to point out that we have collected 64.28% of our budgeted revenue through the end of December, and we had spent 55.04% of our budgeted expenditure. So I don't see any problem with our financial reports this year. We seem to be on track with our expenses and revenue, but if y'all have any questions on any of the line items, we can talk about them. But everything seems fine. Lisa and I talk about this on a pretty regular basis, and if we see any line item that you know, needs a revision. We have done a couple of revisions this year, but it's just minor things and some of the line items as things come up. But I, like I say, we, we try to keep a close eye on this and I don't see any problems with it. I have a question on it. If you'll look at page seven, this is the fee income history, and this is just the five year cumulative fee history. And we, if you look at December, you know, we'll just compare that to where we were at this time last December, you can see that we're up in fees almost $10,000. And, you know, of course, the biggest majority of our fee increase this year has been in vital records because we have, you know, with the change in the law about driver's license, you know, people have to get the birth certificate. So we've seen a big increase in our vital records income. Some of the other areas, I'll just, if you want to go ahead and look at page nine, this is just, just a little summary of the different categories of fees that, that I really prepare just for me to understand when I look at it at a glance, which areas are up or down so we could decide if we have any problems in any of the areas. But, some of, some of these are down and some, some are up, but a part of the things that are down, I think, is because we've had such a big concentration trying to get all the flu shots done this year. You know, I, I think Lisa and them have spent so much time out in the schools doing the flu shots that, you know, I've seen the fees down in a couple of the other areas. But another thing I want to point out, we still have a lot of money left to come in in flu income. We talked, Dr. Grow and I talked to our billing person that does the billing for lambs and she's probably got fifteen or twenty thousand dollars outstanding now that we're waiting to get paid either by Medicaid, <clears throat> Medicare, or the state is also going to reimburse us for those kids that got the blue shot that did not have insurance. So so what we hope by the next report, you know, we should see those fee incomes even higher. So at least we're we're doing good this year and I don't see any problems on fees and the only other thing I want to mention, if you look at page eleven, this is a new report that I haven't shown y'all before, but I, the reason I want to point this out is if you remember when we do our budget presentation back, back in May or June, we talk about the Partnership for Health and also we have two school nurses that are on the Lowndes County budget. And I pulled those out of the main health department budget and pulled them into a different program number because of some of, you know, there's so many changes with the partnership, it sort of distorts my Lowndes County budget. And it was easier for me to just pull them out and give them its own program number. But I just wanted y'all to be aware of that because we don't talk about that as much as we used to, that that's still in a part of the Lowndes County budget. And you know, we have about 60 or 70 programs that run through Lowndes. And when we, you know, when I come and talk with y'all, I mainly talk about the health department, not all the different programmatic budgets. but. This is one, and we just, I just call it district administration because that's a programmatic number that's already set up that we've used in the past. And the main thing running through here is things, sometimes there's a few things that we can't pay for with grant and aid or county money, and the insurance on the car is one thing that I have to put in this fund and use county non participating money for. But the majority of this is the partnership and the school nurses, and I just want y'all to be aware of that and see that, you know, they're still coming through as a pass-through in the last time for the hell. Do y'all have any questions about that? I know we haven't talked about it in quite a while. So they, they have funding outside of what county? Yes. Well. Yeah, they, the partnership, I think, gets funding through the hospital mm -hmm. and also maybe through some other organizations, but they're, all of their employees run through, as there are employees of the board of hell. Sometimes the hospital runs through. Yeah, and, and that's one thing, Dr. Gray may want to mention this, that we want to... And they have paid, they're, they're, they've paid us through. Um, yeah. And I think this is showing they've got, 
as of December, they had paid me through November, and I think I've got the December payment now, which is the longest report. I just have one question about your